Baseball is a sport that is enjoyed and played by many around the world. The immortal John Hancock here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five great baseball video games, games that I grew up with, games that I played, or games that were recommended by others. And so these might be games that you've played. You might have other recommendations. I definitely want to hear your thoughts about these. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. All right, baseball. I'm a longtime baseball player. I grew up playing baseball. I love watching baseball, whether it's amateur or professional, and it's something that I really enjoy playing. Uh, there's countless awesome video games out there. These are some I recommend you might have yours. An early Nintendo Entertainment System game when I was playing Little League, and that's RBI Baseball. Yes, there is an arcade version of this, but I played the NES version. It only has 10 teams. The characters are fat and pudgy, but it's a lot of fun to play. It's easy to pick up. It is far from being realistic. I kind of gravitate towards arcade style games. And I really, what I liked about RBI Baseball, it was just fun. And I really enjoyed playing this. I think it's a better two player game, but you know, uh, it's, it's definitely not realistic, but it's fun taking these uh, kind of fat players and countless home runs. I remember playing games with friends and, and, and the scores were like, you know, like 15, 20. And so it's, it's not realistic. If you want to play an NES classic, check out RBI Baseball. There is a black cart version as well as a licensed version and definitely one to check out. Next up, you know, I was blown away by the arcade graphics of the Neo Geo and an early hit for the Neo Geo in the arcades was Baseball Stars Professional. And I thought I would never own this game. In fact, I remember early in my childhood wanting to save up and get a Neo Geo. I thought I'd never get one myself. Eventually I did acquire one and Baseball Stars Professional is an amazing arcade game. It blew away the graphics of the time, but really what it comes down to, it doesn't have realistic players or teams but it's fun, has awesome audio, has great voiceover, and it's a lot of fun. I, I really keep going back to this arcade style baseball game because it transfers to an awesome video game. A game, a video game, especially a video game based on a sport, doesn't have to be realistic. Baseball Stars Professional is a good example of that. You know, and there's different versions of this game. I play the arcade Neo Geo version. If you want a different experience, definitely want to check out Baseball Stars on the NES. There's also a Neo Geo Pocket version. If you're looking for great arcade fun, this is one of the best baseball games. Check it out. As time progressed, the home console versions of baseball also got better. And you know, uh, being on the West Coast, I'm a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan, and a game I played in high school was Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball. Now, the follow-up to this game is technically better. The subtle nods of Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball. There's lots in this game to like. First and foremost, it has a lot of different venues. Shea Stadium, Dodger Stadium, Fenway Park. Lots of different stadiums with unique features were in the game. Not all teams got their their custom stadiums but a lot to like in here uh, there was fictitious players there isn't any real players but ken griffey jr but they all had they all had themes and so it was really cool to see that there was box scores offered at the end of games in like a newspaper format in home run derby growing up in the country you were restricted sometimes to what was available in your hometown and this was a game that i got to rent and eventually added it to my collection. This is a wonderful sports game. If you like this one, the follow-up is, is just as good as well. There's two Super Nintendo games. This was the first one. Uh, and actually, on a side note, this is a not, not NFR, not for resale demo of this game that I found. You can't go wrong with the Super Nintendo. Definitely recommend checking it out and its follow-up. There's a lot of statistics in baseball, and I know there's a lot of fans of statistics. There are some players out there, and you might be one of them, gravitate to the realism of baseball. And it really started on the 16-bit level uh, to progress into those more realistic stats. Uh, this is a game that has been recommended 
uh, from many f fans and viewers, and that's Triple Play Gold Edition. And this is a game that I technically didn't play a lot growing up, but I went back and checked out, and there is a lot to like about this game in particular. There's over 700 players, there's injuries, there's trades, there's like a professional mode, uh, there's like an extra challenging mode in the game. There, it, the graphics, the animation, the sound, for me, it was a game that when I was playing it, I felt like I was at a baseball stadium. It has really good sound effects. And you know, EA made a lot of awesome Sega Genesis sports titles. And this is definitely up there with some of their best. It, you know, it was a late release. It was a follow-up to Triple Play 96. Has updated rosters. And you know, Triple Play 96 is great as well. But this, this is the follow-up and a game that I I highly recommend. It's super cheap. You can track this down, fairly affordable. Hey, we all love affordable video games, right? And if you're a fan of baseball and you love 16-bit era games, Triple Play Gold is one of the better baseball games out there. Now, Sega Genesis had a ton of games, and I'm not saying this is the very best. You know, I have to do a nod to Tony, Tony La Russa Baseball, which is a baseball game that I grew up with. That's another great Sega Genesis game, but there's many others. What are your favorites? Definitely want to hear in the comments below. Last and definitely not least. So, there are countless other awesome franchises out there. And there's one that's about ready to be dropped on the Xbox for the first time. And that's MLB The Show. This is an awesome ongoing franchise that has been around since 2006. But I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to have my friend Jay from Square Pegs. He's got an amazing channel, and he is going to give you his thoughts about MLB The Show. Take it away, Jay. The MLB The Show series is one of the best sports iterative titles that I have ever played. Now, it doesn't change a lot year over year. It is an iterative title, so kind of like Madden or FIFA or anything like that, there's a lot of the same core at play here. But what's different from those other games from EA is that MLB The Show is a significant quality jump. The game is absolutely incredible. From the appearance of the players on the field to every stadium being lifelike and just lovingly modeled and just perfect in appearance as compared to their real life counterpart, to the mascots in the game, to the home run effects at certain fields. Like, like when you hit a home run for the Mets, the Big Apple will go off. There's just so much attention to detail and something that is just so clearly in love with the sport of baseball that brings this just incredible simulation and purity to the game. And that's not to say that it's all just like hard-nosed sim stuff. No, there's a lot of fun here too. There's a ton of different modes you can play in beyond just the simulated stuff. But what the real moneymaker is for MLB The Show is the road to the show mode. You're able to create a player and go through the Rule 5 draft and become a part of a team and work your way up through the minors. Now I know a lot of sports games do this and it's really hard to beat what the NBA 2K team does, but I'm going to be honest with you, MLB The Show I think gets there. It is such an incredible experience and such a deep and immersive game to play. It is probably my favorite ever baseball game. It's something that I buy repeatedly. This is the 19 version. I haven't picked up 20 or 21, but I bought 17, 18, and 19, and the games are just magnificent. And 21 is absolutely on my list. This is running on my PS5, but I want to see something that was optimized for next gen. So that is it. Those are my recommendations for five great baseball games and franchises. What are your picks? I would love for you to put in the comments below, not only your games that you choose, but your stories. I love hearing your stories, having fun playing uh, countless baseball video games or playing baseball. As always, thank you so much for the ongoing support. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. Make sure to check out Jay's channel. He's got a great channel and he uploads all the time. Thank you, Jay, for helping with this video. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. You have a good day.